and welcome back to my channel it is nurse jasmine checking in with you all and today as you can guess by the title we are going to talk about should you become a cna before becoming a nurse so this is a great video for those thinking about going to nursing school or already in nursing school this is the video for you and hopefully by the end of this video you can answer that question for yourself should you become a cna before becoming a nurse okay so let's just jump right in so in my opinion these are my opinions and my thoughts should you become a cna before you become a nurse and the answer is yes a thousand and one percent yes absolutely Becoming a new nurse can be very overwhelming and there's challenges in that itself. So if you already understand the basics of nursing and already understand like those simple skills like as far as turning a patient or assisting with ADLs, which is activities of daily living, then you will already know what to do. Now in my own personal experience, I became a CNA when I was 15 years old. I was in high school and our high school had what was called a career program, um, an early start to you know, your career. They had a program for that. So when I kind of knew that I wanted to be in the medical field, but I really didn't know what route I wanted to take, my dad actually kind of guided me through that and he suggested that I enroll into the certified nursing assistant program so I can get an idea of what it would be like to you know get into the medical field and maybe get my feet wet a little bit so I can kind of understand what it's like to be a nurse now when I went through that career program in high school I will say it was free which is why I really jumped on it with two feet it was a free program offered through my high school and at the end I got a certificate and I had a few college credits so it was all around a good idea for me and it helped me get into nursing school and it also helped me to get the job that I have today so like I said I became a CNA when I was 15 I started working in a nursing home I was the youngest one there but I got to see what nurses do and a little bit of their role and I loved it I, I loved it and I was like this is what I wanted to do I want to be a nurse and now that I am a nurse, I don't regret making that decision. So while I was in school, I didn't work as a nursing assistant. What I did was work during the summertime when I was out of my classes. But when I was actually taking my classes, I did not work. I just didn't find that it was the best for me, especially because early on I found myself struggling a little bit. Nursing school was difficult for me. I mean as it probably is for most people but it was really difficult for me in the beginning i really struggled so i really couldn't work it wasn't appropriate for me to work and go to school um so i made that sacrifice while i was in school and i know some people might think well i have to work and go to school and you can do that you can definitely do that if that's what you have to do you really just have to discipline yourself and really find time have a support system and also find time to study set time aside for yourself so you can focus on what you have to do so with that being said should you become a cna prior to becoming a nurse my answer is yes and i'm sure there's a thousand other nurses out there that would totally agree it's kind of interesting because when we have new nurses working on our floor we kind of chuckle because you can tell the nurses that were cnas before they became nurses and you can tell the ones that weren't but i know a lot of hospitals are kind of gearing towards putting everything on the nurse they're kind of pushing away from nursing assistants to save money so there are some hospitals that don't have nursing assistants and only use the nurse so if you don't have that background, it can be difficult and it can be overwhelming. So it's good to become a CNA so that you can have those basic skills and you can focus on your nursing skills once you become a nurse. Now, as far as your resume, once you become a nurse and now it's time to look for a job, when you have that background, that CNA on your resume, a lot of employers like to see that. Some really do consider that as experience. So if you have that experience, 
you are more likely to get that job versus the next applicant that doesn't have that experience. So keep that in mind as well. If you have that background, they're like, hey, this person has experience, let's hire them. They will choose you over the next someone who does not have experience. So when I started working, I wasn't actually considered brand new because I had been a CNA for five years prior to me starting my nursing job. So they said, hey, this girl has experience, let's hire her. And I actually got hired on to one of the more difficult hospitals here in the city. So I take pride in that. Um, I love being a CNA and it, like I said it opened a big door for me as far as getting into nursing school and now getting the job that I actually wanted. So that was a benefit as well. And please understand to become a CNA it is a certification so you do have to take a state exam and once you take that exam and pass then you can practice as a CNA. So it is a profession and you have to keep that in mind as well. So you do get paid a little bit more. It's a little bit better than minimum wage. So understand that. Um, I know people that make a career out of being CNAs. They love the field. They love what they do. They love caring for people, but not having as much responsibility as a nurse. So trust me, I know people who have worked and been a CNA for 30 plus years and just enjoy it. That's just what they do. I've actually got another question about do I have to become a CNA to be a nurse? No, you don't. You don't have to have that CNA background to be a nurse. So please let me make that clear. You do not have to be a CNA to become a nurse. Now I know some people say, should I become a CNA, an LPN, and then an RN? An LPN is a licensed practical nurse, and no, you do not. You can go straight from high school into a RN program if your grades so allow it. It is a difficult process to get into nursing school, but you don't have to become a CNA, then an LPN, or an RN. You can go right from high school to nursing school. So hopefully you all found this video to be helpful. Hopefully it answered that question, should you become a CNA before becoming an RN? Which my answer was yes. Go ahead, get a head start on your nursing career. So once you become an RN, you already know what it's like to be a CNA. You have better rapport with your nursing assistants. You're more willing to help them when you know what it's like to have been a CNA understand that being a CNA also allows you to have experience as far as on your resume. It looks good to employers and sometimes you start off at a higher pay grade because you have that CNA experience. So all those are benefits and you just have to do what's best for you, what works for you. Um, but it is a great stepping stone and it does help in the transition to becoming a registered nurse. So hopefully y'all found this video to be helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. And this is Nurse Jasmine checking out.